my daughter, I've come to the conclusion that she is a legit Sour Patch Kid. Like, y'all know those commercials where they're like, first they're sweet, and then they're sour. Although she's a reverse Sour Patch Kid, where she is like, sour, and then she's sweet. You know, like, she will go in the other room, find whatever she can find to make a mess, whether it's some rogue nail polish that got left that she found, or a bucket of Legos, or, I mean, sometimes I don't even know how she gets these things, right? She'll dump it all over the floor, or she will put it all over the walls. Whatever she can do to make my life a little bit harder, she will do. And then, all of a sudden, I'll go in, and I'll, I'll like, give her that look, and I'll like go to like discipline her, and she'll just start singing, like, twinkle, twinkle, little star. And I try to keep that straight face, you know? And it slowly starts turning into like a little smile as she slowly starts melting the ice that has formed around my heart. And I'm like, oh, you're cute. You're cute. You know, <laughs> she's good. She is so good at that. So good. So, you know, I've always wanted to be one of those like, you know, put together moms. We all have seen them, you know, like at pickup, like, you know, there was this mom that I would see her every day at pickup back when my son was like in first grade or something. She had twins and another kid and she always looked like on point. Like her face was always done, her outfit matched. She always just looked so stinking cute. You know what I mean? Like I, I always was like, why, how, why? You know, <laughs> like, like why, why can't I look like that? I mean, not only that, but she looked damn good for having three kids, man. She looked like, you know, she hit the gym every day. I'm just going this way. She looked like she hit the gym every day, and like, she could just outrun everybody. Like, she just looked so fit. And I was like, oh, oh, man. It hurts deep inside, because I know I don't look that cute, you know? <laughs> I always wanted to be one of those moms who was put together, who woke up in the morning and showered. Like, that's the thing that I'd never done, that I always wished I could do. Not that I can, I guess, but I always wanted to be like that mom who wakes up in the morning and showers and always has my hair looking nice and, and my makeup looking on point and my outfit, you know, like cute, like shoes. Like what we have, um, we have a, I know, blah, 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 blah. okay, let's try that again. I have a friend who legit always wears heels and she's a mom, she's a mom and she always has heels on. Now. I can't wear heels when I don't have to chase after kids, so I don't know how she do it and chase after kids. I, I don't, I would be falling on my face left and right. But there's moms that do it. Oh, there's this other mom. She is just like the most glamorous mother I have ever seen. I love her so much, like I just love her so much. She just is always, oh, like she's it's like so tall and so thin and she always looks like she is straight off of like a London runway or something, you know, like her French runway or whatever the runways are. She just always looks so flippin' good. And I'm like, I just look at her and I'm like, I love you. You know? So I try, I really do, but I mean, let's face it, right now I have on yoga pants and an old sweatshirt. I have clothes that are older than my children. <laughs> I have this shirt from like high school, from like a Dave Matthews concert, like it's a tie-dye, you know, it's like, we all got one of those at least, I hope. I'm not the only one that has one. You know, I mean, it's just so worn. It's got so many holes in it, but it's just one of those things that you just kind of can't throw away or give away. I mean, you couldn't even give that away. Nope, nobody would want that. Uh-uh. But, I mean, I, I do have some nicer clothes, but my clothes always end up getting, like, dirty and ruined. You know, like, this is just an example, and not that this happens, like, every day, but my middle little Alipop, he gets nosebleeds, right? He, uh... He gets them, you know, enough. And when it starts to happen, he hates it, like, dripping down his face. Like, when it first happens, before we are able to contain it. Like, he hates it dripping down his face, so I'll be approaching him with the tissue as it's dripping down, and he'll go... And literally, it looks like a freaking murder just happened. Like, there's blood splattered everywhere, generally all over me. And I'm like, uh, oh, thank you. You know? Like, <laughs> that's just, and that's just one thing that happens. But I always end up with stuff on me. I mean, this one back here... She just always has things on her fingers, whether it's food or markers or paint or boogers or, I mean, you name it, she has it. 
and then it gets all over me. It's it just all, all over me. So I just can't stay clean. So I feel like if I were to go out and buy like really nice clothes, I would just be so angry that they would just get so dirty and ruined, you know? So I kind of just stick with the with the cheapos, the cheap stuff for now. Maybe once, maybe when they get a little older, I can try my hand at looking a little more presentable. You know, I mean, I always want it. Cause I remember growing up, we had this kid in our class, right? And his mom was a milk. And everybody like, everybody told, like once we got to that age where like boys talked about that kind of thing, everybody knew it. Everybody was like, damn, your mom's hot. And I always wanted to be a hot mom. But I ain't no hot mom. I don't look like a hot mom. I don't dress like a hot mom. So I ain't no hot mom. But maybe like, not that I want, you know, like little, little boys like hitting on me or anything, but it's like one of those things, you know? One of those just inside things that makes you feel good. I try, I try not to let how I look on the outside reflect my inside, but let's face it, that does make a big difference. Um, I just, it's one of those things. Like, all right, shameless plug. I sell LuLaRoe, right? And um, not that you have to go shop for me or anything, but I'm just saying I love, I really do love their dresses because this is like, since I started selling it, it's the first time I've worn a dress since I was probably like two years old. No lie. I was always such a huge tomboy. Oh, that's just, oh, good squirrel. I got a whole more slap of things that I could tell you about, but I'll just try to stay on track. Stay on track. Um, I love their dresses. For reals, like, I love that they're comfortable. I love that they cover my ginormous behind, but I love that I actually do feel kind of like feminine when I wear them, you know? I don't, I don't know if you have ever, if you wear dresses or whatever, but you should try it sometime. It really does, like, make you feel nice. You are so right, little lady. There's, they're building an apartment building over here, and she just said, I see an excavator over there. You are so smart. So smart. Get it from your mama. <laughs> but, yeah. So, ever since I started selling LuLaRoe, I, I have better days, you know, where I actually do feel like I look kind of pretty. But it still is not consistent. I don't, you know, some mornings I'm just, I'm just like, I throw on whatever sweatpants don't stink or don't have a stain on them and find, you know, find a shirt out of the pile that's still presentable and call it a day. It is what it is. But I hope someday, I hope someday I'll get there. You know, I'll be that, I'll be that hot mom. <laughs> I'm never going to be a hot, I snort when I laugh. I'm never going to be a hot, hot mom. <laughs> oh, brother. 